Hi, you're watching Stylement, and with me is one of India's most successful, most respected, and most talented designers, Sabhi Sachi Mukherjee. Sabhi Sachi, welcome to Stylement. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, since you know uh, the festive season is upon us, and your clothes are so festive and gorgeous and intricate and elaborate, um, what do you think young men and women should uh, wear this festive season? You know, if you look at India in the last five, six years, there's been a very paradigm shift towards the way Indians look at India. At one point of time, there was a little bit of embarrassment about being Indian, everything that India stood for. But right now, I think the younger generation, because of a very long period of anarchy, is waking up to a lot of idealism and they're discovering India. You know, like a person like you wearing a sari and you're wearing it with a lovely hairband and a blouse. I think that's what India is all about. It's about mixing their own culture with a lot of things from the West, but still keeping it very, very Indian and fashion forward. I think this festive season uh, is going to be the emergence of the purest mode because everybody is going to go into wearing a lot of Indian clothing. I think men will wear a lot of bangalas, bandis with kurtas, you know, uh, small crop sherwanis. Uh, I think jodhpurs would be a big thing, rage with pocket squares. Very dandy, but a uh, modern interpretation of the vintage Maharaja look. While for women, though the Kalidar is going to still be the winner of the season because it looks it makes everybody look like a princess, the emergence of the long Mughal coat is going to be the big silhouette. Ever since Great Gatsby released, I think there's been a big emergence of the 20s trend and glamour is going to be the buzzword. You're one of the strongest advocates of the sari. Uh, what is it about the you know six yards of unstitched fabric that fascinates you so much? I think if you look at the sari, it can be a woman's best friend or her worst enemy because I think, uh, you know, you need to befriend the sari. Uh, I think there's a very big analogy between a snake and a sari because everybody fears and misunderstands both of them. And I think it's a very passive drape. It can be very sensuous, sexy, boring, emancipated, liberated, exhilarating, you know, romantic, demure. All of this put together, depending on how you choose to use a sari. I think uh, when women say that, you know, a sari doesn't work for me, I think they haven't had a relationship with it. Boy from Bengal has dressed pretty much everyone from Mr. Bachchan to Naomi Campbell. I have to ask you that who's been your favorite? Well, for many, many reasons, I would say Oprah Winfrey because I have been her biggest fan. And the fact that a woman from the West comes and champions the Indian sari, and she has a weight problem, but she's so confident that she looks good and everything. And she said that, you know, I came to India to wear a sari because I think it's appalling that it's such a beautiful garment and not many Indians wear it. I, I, I think she stole my heart and, uh, and I think Oprah remains my favorite. Every accessory that you showcase on the ramp, be it the bejeweled headband, which is now a rage across the country, everyone's wearing it, to, you know, the John Lennon glasses, to the pearls that you did in the recent collection. What would you say would be the top accessories uh, in the coming season? I definitely think the hairband and the jewel bag and the jewel shoes because you know India loves decoration and you can dress it up, dress it down, wear it with something which is very beaded and baroque to give it a maximalist look. What according to you is modern young India looking for in fashion? Right now what India is looking for is a little bit of culture and history because that's missing from our lives. I think we, we have become the Google generation where everything comes too easy and it's become a little plastic. I really think that uh, young India is looking for a stronger purist movement where they're, where they're saying, okay, fine, I'm not going to go for what the world believes in, I'm going to go for what I think is right. The most underrated piece of fashion according to you? I definitely think it would be the sari. And the most overrated one? I think it would be the western evening gown. I think it's so not necessary in our lives right now. Other than the sari, uh, what are the other wardrobe staples in a woman's wardrobe? And if you could have a list for men as well. Well, for women, you ne definitely need to have one long tailored jacket with beautiful dupatta or a beautiful hand-woven shawl, great straight kurta with a churidar, a beautiful skirt, a beautiful basic white shirt, and a pair of tan black and neutral color shoes. And if you have a little bit of foundation, cold cream, a red lipstick, you're made. Men look best in conservative clothing. I like them in camel, beige, khaki, oxford blues. I think a good shirt, a great belt, nice trousers, great shoes, a good watch, a nice wallet. My God, the list goes on and on. 
a nice jamiwa shawl a classic black bangla with gold bot- buttons white khadi kurta churidar a pair of wayfarers and the man is set and for men i think it's very very important to have very risky and uh, uh, a little bit of diabolical uh, accessories like maybe a polka dotted hanky or or maybe a cartoon printed socks you know little little peaks of things that just bring out the fun element in menswear without making them look too frivolous who tops the list of most stylish for you Well in men I think it's Farhan Akhtar because I think he's very cool. I would think of Sonia Gandhi actually for a reason because I think you know f- she's so good at wearing clothing which epitomizes who she is. You know fashion to many is an expression of a contemporary being. What does fashion mean to you and what is that one fashion advice you would give to everyone? You know fashion for me is an escape without losing touch of reality and I would like to say to people that be yourself that's the most fashionable that you can ever be because you know a confident person is something or someone that everybody gets attracted to i always say that style is about a woman who's 5 feet short and wears flats to a party thank you sabhi sachi absolute pleasure and honor meeting you thank you again thank you.